Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on differentiating a single term in the form ax to the b. Now let's first discuss what we mean to differentiate. Let's just say we had a straight line like this and let's just say we had the equation of that line was y equals 3x plus 4. Now hopefully previously learned about equations of straight lines we have y equals mx plus c where the m the coefficient of the x, the number from the x, that is the gradient. And that gradient of 3 means that each time x increases by 1, the y value goes up by 3. So the greater the gradient, the steeper the line because it's going up more steeply. This number is greater. But if we had a curve like y equals x squared, which is not a straight line, then the gradient is constantly changing. And what I mean by the gradient of the curve is the gradient of the tangent. So let's just say that we wanted the gradient of this point here. If we drew the tangent to the curve, so a straight line that touches the curve, that's known as a tangent, then we can see the gradient here is zero because it's completely flat. So the gradient here would be zero. Let's take another point. If we had, say, for example, uh, three, nine, that's a point on the curve, and we were to draw the tangent, and we were to find the gradient of that tangent. Now it would turn out that that gradient was equal to 6. And we might wonder, well, how can we use the equation of the curve and some point on the line to work out the gradient of the tangent of that point? And that's where differentiation is useful. So let's just use the example of y equals x squared, and then we'll go on to these. If y equals x squared, we differentiate that to find something called the gradient function. Now the original function was y, the gradient function is dy over dx, this is known as the gradient function, and it's called the gradient function because it allows us to find the gradient of the curve at a specific point. And the rule for it is simple. If we have x to the power of something, we just multiply by the power, so let's just put the x first, we multiply by that power of 2, that index of 2, so we put that on the front, and then we reduce the power by 1, so the 2 goes down to 1. We'll do some more of examples of this in a second. And that expression enables us to find the gradient for any point. So for example, with a 3, 9, if we had the 3, 9, which is a point, then the gradient using this gradient function, dy over dx is 2x is going to be 2 times the x value, which is 3, which is 6, which is exactly what I wrote up here. Now, just to give you some other notation, if instead of y equals, you used f of x is equal to something, so let's just say it was, I don't know, x cubed, then the gradient function we actually use as f prime of x. Some people say f dash of x, but it's f prime of x. And that's just a different notation for the gradient function where you've used functional notation like this. And we do the same. We times by the power, so we times by the 3, and then the index of 3 gets reduced by 1 to get 2. And again, we could use that expression to find the gradient on a curve of a specific point. We'll explore that in a different video. The final notation you might see is d over dx of something. So if I had d over dx of, say, uh, 2x to the 7, then we can immediately just write what expression it is. In fact, I'm going to put an equals here. Then we times by the power of 7. So the 2 gets multiplied by the index of 7, which gives you 14. And then we reduce that index by 1. So the 7 goes down by 1 to 6. So let's just do it for these actual examples here. We want to find d over dx of x to the 5. Well, we just multiply by the power, the index, so we times by 5, and then that index of 5 gets reduced by 1. Now, if y is equal to 3x squared, let's get the notation right, then dy over dx, the gradient function, we multiply the 3 by the 2, becomes 6, and then reduce that power by 1. So 2 becomes 1, well x to 1 is just x. And then finally, if f of x is equal to 7x, let's use the right notation again, it'll be f prime of x, f prime of x. Well, you can imagine that power is 1, so 7 times 1 is 7, and then that 1 reduces to 0, so x to the 0, but anything to the power of 0 is 1, so it would just be 7. So in general, if you differentiate like a number or constant times x, you just drop the x. So if I differentiated, for example, 12x, 
you just drop the x and you would get 12.